Holy men and women have always said that the universe just sings. Listen to what it says in Isaiah 44, verse 23. Sing, O heavens, for the Lord has done it. Shout, O depths of the earth. Break forth into singing, O mountains, O forest, and every tree in it. Well, you might say that you've never heard the universe sing. You've been outside and it hasn't uh, uh, jumped into a chorus of something. Or has it? If you've ever heard the wind come through the trees, ever heard the song of the birds, ever been in touch with this kind of peace, you know for a fact that the world sings to you constantly. The song of life is the harmony of God. It's resounding in all creation. Each bird sings the song of life. You hear the song of life as the wind moves through the trees. Or here's another one. You're on the shore of the ocean, and you listen to the waves. What a harmonious sound that is. Now and then, you and I may not listen to the harmony of life. But still, the divine harmony plays. It keeps on playing in all of its purity. You simply attune yourself to it, and when you do, you attune yourself to God. You can attune yourself to healing, the recreating presence of God. And in harmony with God, you are back with and you're part of the harmonious whole. In the quiet, in the solitude, you know the wonder of belonging to God again and in belonging to God's world part of all that is good instead of bad. In harmony with life, and you're in harmony inside of yourself and with others too in our glorious world that constantly sings to us. And I like to think that that song is saying in its own words that things are getting better all the time, every second because it is God's world. God bless you.